Agriculture as an industry has always thought about stewardship, about being able to steward the land, steward our natural resources, but we also steward and nurture our creativity and our ideas and the notion that we can include people into what we do. So the one thing that's important for the College of Ag Sciences and the one thing that's important for agriculture in general is that we welcome people to the table and that we join others in conversations around their table so that we can have a successful future. We started thinking about what are the ways that we can begin a conversation, begin a journey around inclusive excellence. So inclusive excellence being this idea that we practice inclusion, the ability to affirm and to respect and to value, practice that every day and always look for self-improvement. So you have to be able to take stock in order to do that. So as we began to talk, we began to meet some other folks and we took a look at ourselves uh, in our culture and climate survey in a series of interviews to find out where the gaps were and said what it takes is, is a big event, a focal point of us getting together and making a commitment together. And then that becomes the platform from which we have additional conversations. The Come to the Table event is really about building community, a uh, community within the College of Agriculture uh, and, and understanding what's in our tools and our toolkits so that we can be successful going forward. I see a lot of courage in having an event like this. Um, it shows that uh, he's willing to encourage the college to dive in and uh, take a look at themselves and I think that that can be transformative. Colleges around the country in general can all benefit from a space where people can come and talk about things that they might hold close to the chest. I think it's very encouraging to see the college engaging in these kinds of conversations. Um, especially with students and with faculty. Even if you don't look like the part of diversity, like you likely have a story that makes you diverse. I believe that it is this foundation that is going to instill um, the grassroots to begin having these dialogues and to begin formulating these groups and empowering our students and creating this inclusive environment that will nurture that. I do want people to understand that to advance a system of equity is construction work. And in many ways, it means that we'll have to relook almost every system that we have in our country. And so the one thing that I would want to leave people with is that it is not your responsibility to try to do everything, but it is your responsibility to try to do something. And you get to define what that something is. You know, as we go forward the next few years, one thing I'd like to see is, is for groups of diverse uh, individuals and people to actually be engaging with each other, planning together, celebrating our successes, and also having difficult conversations around things in, in the world around us, and then understanding how we can work together to be able to take advantage of opportunities and to be able to remedy some of the challenges that we face. There's so many good-intentioned, terrific individuals who share the same core values. In the next one to two years, we're gonna learn how to, how to build that community with each other so that we can exhibit those in our daily lives.